think I've always identified with the underdog. My mother was a supermarket worker, my dad was a construction guy. And I went to St Mark's School of Art and it was a huge thing for me to leave Scotland and go to London, gritty working class kid. And I just felt so out of place. So I transferred and I went to Liverpool School of Art, chose textile design. Fine art just felt like it wasn't me. Paralyzed by perfection or not feeling good enough. When I met my husband, he was astounded that I didn't read. I, I think I'm dyslexic. He bought me The Cat in the Hat and I became obsessed with picture books, morphing my textile design into more illustrations, licensing my artwork. The success of like having a line of ornaments in Macy's and having like a whole end cap in Target. I made a lot of money. We bought the brainstorming at this gorgeous studio looking at over Manhattan. But eventually it wasn't cathartic, it wasn't satisfying. Drawing another Santa Claus or, or another Halloween pumpkin, nothing I would ever produce, I felt was uh, up to my taste. I always wanted to create art for me. White women living in a predominantly black neighborhood, enamored by just different cultures. I wanted to be able to portray people of color in a beautiful way. My kid's babysitter is from Ethiopia originally. She wears a hijab, telling me how increasingly she was feeling afraid. That was the first thing I actually realized. This is what I want to paint. A point in my life where it's just like, it feels so pure to be touching people in that way. There was no end result to it. The, it was just a pure form of expression. I can't wait to come to my studio and start painting. It's just, it's, it's, it's glorious. <laughs>